Make today iconic. What's up, guys? It's Upcom Sports back with another rebuild. In this one, we're doing the Utah Jazz. And there are the objectives if you want to pause the video. Here are the settings I used. Uh, pretty much, we're just going to try to build around Donovan Mitchell. Uh, I'm going to try to trade up in the 2018 draft uh, to pick up another guy like Donovan Mitchell who could be a sleeper in this draft. And. Uh, Ultimate goal is to get to the NBA Finals. So you guys probably know the team. Rudy Gobert, Donovan Mitchell, Derek Favors, Ingles, Ricky Rubio, Davo Cephalosha, and Tony Bradley. Here is a trade that I think the Jazz could do if they wanted to. And that is trade Jay Crowder and their pick, which is the 23rd pick, to the Denver Nuggets for their 14th pick. Because the Denver Nuggets... Uh, they could use some small forwards. They don't really have small forwards. They're all free agents. So with the 14th overall pick, we are going to be taking Kevin Knox out of Kentucky. He has 85 potential, so he'll be good for us in the future, definitely. So for free agency, we don't really have that much cap space uh, like to go after a big time guy or a point guard. So I'm just going to be signing some one year deals. Kind of what the Lakers did. I'm going to be picking up Michael Beasley, um, Brooke Lopez, and I think another guy. But uh, we're going to have to renounce most of the rights on the guys that we have. Double Cephalosha, we don't really need. And he's making way too much money. So, so is Jarebko. And we're just going to sign these three guys to one-year deals so we can have cap space next season. So this is what the team is looking like after the first offseason. Uh, Rudy Gobert, Donovan Mitchell, Joe Ingles, Michael Beasley, Brooke Lopez, Ricky Rubio, Burks, Rondo, and uh, of course our rookie. I'm going to be sending Tony Bradley to the G League because we're not really going to play him and he needs to progress in order to get minutes. This is what the rotation is looking like. Uh, most of the minutes are going to go to Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert, but uh, I think this team can do very good. Hopefully we make the playoffs. Let's see. So Russell Westbrook wins MVP, Marvin Bagley Rookie of the Year, Whiteside Defensive Player, Steve Kerr Coach of the Year. Uh, I think Donovan Mitchell could make a team, but probably down the future. Uh, Kevin Knox doesn't seem to be on the rookie team, but that's okay. We were the 11th seed in the West, so we did not make the playoffs. We won 33 games only. I attribute that to probably the chemistry because we started the year very badly and our chemistry was very low. So let me know if you guys would like to see chemistry off or turned down just in case that's what's keeping us from winning a championship or whatnot. There you see the stats. Donovan Mitchell, about 20 points per game. The next highest scorer was Michael Beasley, so that's not too good, but hopefully we can pick up a point guard in free agency. We're just gonna simulate these playoffs and see who wins. I bet the Warriors are gonna take this to no one's surprise. I actually know the Timberwolves beat them, but. So it looks like we'll be having the ninth odds at the number one pick. And we get the ninth pick overall. With the ninth pick overall, we're going to address our power forward position. And we're going to be taking Sharif O'Neal, who's going to be a stud for us in about two or three years. So that's a good pickup for us. So we're going to go after a point guard in free agency. Either Kemba Walker, Eric Bledsoe, or Malcolm Brogdon, because they're the best prospects that are available in this free agency class and we're gonna throw them 30 million dollar deals hopefully we get one of them I would like Kemba to pair up with uh, Donovan Mitchell that would be a nasty offensive backcourt Brogdon is restricted so they'll probably match it so if we get one of the other two point guards I'm just gonna sign them and we end up getting Eric Bledsoe not what I wanted but we'll have to settle for him uh, we really need a point guard Ricky Rubio is good, but we need someone who can Defend a little bit better and Ricky Rubio will still come off the bench and get a lot of minutes. So we'll be good there 
And we're gonna renounce the rights on all the one year deals we did and also Alec Burks because I don't wanna pay him $17 million to do nothing. Uh, and I think we're set for the next season pretty much. So after the off season, we're looking like Donovan Mitchell, Rudy Gobert, Eric Bledsoe, Ricky Rubio, Frank Kaminsky, Kevin Knox, Sharif O'Neal, Tyler Dorsey, and Raul Neto. Here's what the rotation's looking like. Ricky Rubio is going to come off the bench. Donovan Mitchell, of course, getting the most minutes. Let's see what happens in this season. LeBron James wins yet another MVP. Bull Bull, Rookie of the Year. Steve Kerr, Coach of the Year. Let's see if Donovan Mitchell made a team. Looks like he did not make a team, but that's all right. As long as we're winning games, I don't really care about individual awards. Let's check out the standings. We were the fourth seed winning 50 games, so much, much improved from last season. It looks like we'll be playing the Los Angeles Lakers in the first round. Damn, they have a pretty stacked team, so we'll see what happens with them. But Donovan Mitchell getting a pretty good year again. Kevin Knox did improve to 11 points per game. Rudy Gobert giving us the defense. So we're here in a close game five between the Lakers and the Jazz. Jazz are up 3-1 in this series, but let's see if they can close it out. Donovan Mitchell driving. Oh, and he gets a slam. They can't stop Mitchell. They just need a stop right here. If they can get a stop, they're looking good. But uh, Lonzo's going to give it off to Langford. Langford can score, so we got to play tight D on him. Lonzo going to the rack, and he scores. Jazz got to score quick here. And Mitchell gets fouled, so he needs both of these free throws. So Mitchell got both free throws. Two-point game. They foul Langford. He's going to have to make both to make this a two-possession game. He gets the first one. Second one's good, so the Jazz need to score quick. They're out of timeouts. I would go to Donovan Mitchell here. He's the big-time guy on this team, but uh, he takes the shot, and he misses. We were actually 3-1 up this series, so as I mentioned... And it looks like we're going to lose here. Yeah, we're going to lose by four points. We just blew a 3-1 lead. I'm not too happy about that. And it looks like the Lakers are separating from us. And they're going to take this game. They're going to take the series. Coming back 3-1 down. Mitchell couldn't close them out. And... Uh, We'll just have to wait till next season, but yeah, to be up 3-1 on the Lakers and then let them come back, that's just not going to do well for us. My money's on the Warriors winning yet another championship, and they do. So not too many roster changes after the offseason. We're just going to let our young guys progress and see what we can do in this last season that we're doing for this realistic rebuild. Uh, we're looking good actually. I think we should get at least a top four seed, if not top three. That's what the rotation's looking like. Pretty much the same team. Can we get it done in the last season? So Steph Curry wins MVP. Mark Gasol, sixth man. Alvin Gentry, coach of the year. Can Mitchell make it on one of the teams? He makes the third team, averaging 24 points. Yeah, that's a big jump for him. Going from 20 points to 24 points a game. He's becoming the guy on this team. Hopefully he can lead us to a championship. We did finish the third seed, winning 51 games. So one more game than last season. We're looking good. And how ironic, we'll be playing the Lakers again in the first round. 
Hopefully we don't blow a 3-1 lead this time. They're still the same team. Uh, you saw Mitchell's great season. Bledsoe improved from last season as well. Kevin Knox averaging 14 points per game. We're looking good. I think we can get it done. Let's see if we can. Let's sim game one. We win by nearly 20 points. Game two, we win. Game three, we win. Bledsoe dropped 21. Can we sweep the Lakers after blowing a 3-1 lead on them? We have a comfortable lead going into the fourth and we win by 23 points. Donovan Mitchell dropped 20. Bledsoe 15, Sharif had 14. Lonzo 15. Oh, this team fell off. Yeah, they fell off. Second round. Game one. We win. Metro dropped 31. Game two. We win. Metro drops 20 again. Game three. We win. Dang, it's looking like we're gonna sweep both first rounds. So first and second round sweeps, maybe. We'll simcast here. Take a strong lead. And it's a close game. 10 point lead. Close game. And we win. So we just swept our way to the conference finals where we'll most likely be playing Golden State for a chance to go to the NBA Finals. Kevin Knox really stepped up in this series. He dropped 24 this game to lead our scorers. So we are playing the Warriors and we win game one. We steal a game in Oracle Arena. Actually no, we are the higher seed so we're playing in Utah for games one and two. And it looks like the series is tied up. Warriors take a 2-1 lead. It's amazing how 2K thinks this team's going to win forever or something. I don't know. But they're going to keep giving us the L's here. Hopefully we can get, get back into the series. And it looks like it's going to be a tough series here. So might go seven games. Simcast here. Warriors have the lead. It's a tight game here. Warriors up. And it looks like they're going to possibly win this. Still a close game. Four point game. Five point game. Tied up. And we lose. Last second shot. Three points. I would bet it was either Durant or Curry. It's gonna go seven games here. Hopefully we can win. We're in Utah and we're gonna lose this game. Unfortunately, losing to the Warriors in seven in the conference finals. Donovan Mitchell tried his best, 27 points. Curry, Durant, and Klay Thompson each dropped 20 points. So yeah, we're gonna sim here and the Warriors are gonna win the championship. So that's gonna do it for this video, but let me know in the comments what you thought of this team. Can this team in real life get to the finals or did I not do a good job? What can I do better in the next videos? Also let me know who you would like to see next and as always, thanks for watching.